Right, today I want to teach you something <clears throat> very short and simple and sweet. Have you been wondering why you probably having a very short lifespan of your crop? It could be your collards, your kale, your Swiss chard, your spinach, your um, uh, traditional vegetables like what you call managu. Uh, they have a very short lifespan. You could be the culprit. Yes, you could be the culprit. How are you harvesting your vegetables? Today I want to show you practically how you're supposed to harvest your Kali kale. This is called what you call the Kali kale. Now I want my cameraman to come closer and show you. So when you're cutting, you make sure you leave an inch from the stem to where the leaf starts. Leave about an inch. And from my finger, this from here to here is about an inch. Alright? So I'm going to come and cut it from here. Cut it through there. See what I've left. So once it dries up, this is what is going to fall. It's not going to create a wound. But if I show you the last one here, uh, show them this one. When you're harvesting, if you harvest like this, you look at what I'm doing. You're going to create a wound here. Or let's say you cut this badly and you cut it like that. See, you might create a wound here. And from here is where now all the bacteria are going to, harmful bacteria are going to get in through here. So you'll be spending all your money trying to treat a bacterial infection every time you harvest because the skin has been injured because of the way it was being harvested. Always leave an inch like this. Always leave an inch. So this is going to fall off over time. Over time, it's going to fall off and it will be safe. Don't form a wound after that. All right. So let's show you now how we harvest. So if you want to harvest quickly, you cut like that and you cut like that. All right. And you cut like that and you cut like that. So if you look at these, huh? these are the Kali kale, which we are going to prepare for our dinner. Uh, some people believe they have uh, less gas. That's why they prefer them. Uh, in Kenya, we call them the local parlance is sukuma wiki matumbo like a tripe the tripe of a cow um, and people love them the kali kill they haven't been so popular in the past but right now they become very popular so this is what you call the uh, the collard collard greens uh, harvesting is the same if i can show you how to harvest them is the same uh, you come and pinch this one a bit tall so i'll just turn again you pinch like that like that you come and pinch like that okay and you don't cut all leaves make sure you leave a couple of leaves because um because it, it, it uses the leaves to make food okay <laughs> so you don't cut all the leaves leave some so again you come and you cut like that you cut like that okay so if you've got casual laborers but casual laborers who are harvesting for you or some mamboga who are coming to harvest for you please issue those instructions and let them follow them to the letter otherwise you're going to harvest your vegetables and after a month or two that's it they start rotting and you're going to complain that these seed companies have a very poor uh, seed variety but you could be the problem the way you're harvesting them to also cut down your the amount of uh, fungicides you're using to spray on your crops so if you follow that to the letter and your people follow that to the letter you're going to have less and less pesticides or fungicides you're using out on your farm and that's just one of the few tricks i use to ensure that i have a very very long uh, lifespan of my vegetables be it kale be it collard be it uh, managu terere whatever it is make sure when you're cutting you leave about an inch of the stem it's going to fall off over time remember ukulima Yo, Shamba.